in today's video we're going to be talking about multiband compression how to apply it to your master and some of its advantages so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to this channel my name is Che. i make music production tutorials on youtube in cubase and fl studio so consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video so in today's video we're going to be looking at multiband compression multiband compression is a more advanced type of compression where the multiband compressor splits the audio spectra which is this one here in two different or separate bands so you can have two bands three bands or more than that so a multiband compressor is basically an eq and a compressor in one so by splitting your spectrum into a number of bands it gives you more control on your audio file so you can apply different kinds of compression settings to different types of frequency ranges I'm going to use Pro MB because it was requested by someone in the comment section. I wanted to learn how to use Pro MB on a track. So I'm just going to set it back to default and we can start off. So uh, what I have here is a, a mix down. I'm just in the process of mastering it. So I've selected a range here where I feel my music is a little bit loud where I want to do my mastering form. So we're going to be working around this area here. So I've added a multiband compressor which can come after your corrective EQ or additive EQ. So let me play what we have here and then we can get started. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is burning. Pull up for my niggas. Pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching. I'm winning, the heading, the nagging. So this is what I have here as my mix down. So to get started with the Pro MB, first of all, we need to split our frequency spectrum which is this here in two separate bands so you need to ask yourself how many bands are you going to have you can have five you can have four you can have three you can have two depends on how you want however the most typical number of bands for audio files that we usually work with is four so we're going to split this frequency spectrum in two four separate bands we're going to have the low the low mid we're going to have the high mid and the high so splitting this on the Pro MB, you simply just click and then go to another point, click, another point, click and click. So now we need to set the frequencies of these bands. So the typical frequency demarcations for this, I would say for the low, we can take this all the way up to 100 A's, which is this. And then I can just get this and connect it here. So this one and this one are connected. And then I can push this all the way to, let's say, 1,200 for the low mid. For the high mid, let me take this all the way to 9,000. And then we we'll just take this all the way here. So we've split our frequency spectrum into a number of bands. And to just listen to this, I'll click on this band and solo it here. So you can listen that I only have the low frequency here. So for this, make sure you have headsets or speakers so that you can listen to the low. Because if you're listening on a mobile phone, you won't be able to hear the low frequency. I'm going to unsolo this and solo this part. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is And I'll do the same for the others so that you listen to what is going on. Pull up the heat is cooling. So this is what we have. And all together. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. All right, so we're going to be applying compression settings starting with this. So I'm going to solo this, work on this, and move on to this, and move on to that, and that until we're done with uh, the entire thing. These are basically parameters of a compressor, a typical compressor right here. So if I click on this band right here, you'll see that I have these settings here. So I'm going to work with the threshold, attack, and release. For the low, we we'll need to have a longer attack time here and a release of 20% is okay. Our ratio can be 1.6 to 1. The range, let's take it all the way to 20.6. Let's just set this to 6 dB so that we can see this. And uh, we can push the knee a little bit here. 
okay something like that play around with the threshold to apply some compression to this So you can you can switch on and off this band to listen to what you are actually doing using this here I think that's okay with me so I was looking for a point where I feel like my low end here is soft and a little bit consistent with the way the playback is so I feel like it's okay at that point so now push a little bit of the output here which is just this just to add loudness that I've lost Okay, so another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 12 so that we have uh, a cave that is not so much. This is our master. We don't want to do a lot of cuts that will really change the entire energy of the song. So. Alright, so I think this slope sounds good and we're going to change the slope depth here, 12 again. And I'll do the same. We're just going to have 12 on all of them. So now that we are done with the low end here, let's move on to the low mid. So for the low mid, we'll keep the attack the same, the ratio to somewhere 1.4. So for the low, we used a ratio of 1.6. So this one, we coming down. So this is 1.4 now. And... The release 20% is okay then for the range we can uh, bring it all the way down here push a little bit of the knee apply some compression until there is a little bit of consistency and then we can add a little bit of the gain we unsolo this and solo this one so that we just deal with this pull up the heat is cooling pull up the heat is cooling pull up the heat is cooling come on pull up the fire is burning Pull up the fire is burning, pull up for my niggas, pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning, come on, pull up the fire is burning, yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching, I'm winning, the heading, the nagging. So for me, that's a good amount of uh, compression, let's push our gain here. Pull up the heat is cooling, pull up the heat is cooling, pull up the heat is cooling, come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is burning, pull up for my niggas, pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning, come on, pull up the fire is burning, yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching. Alright, so that sounds great for me, so let's unsolo this and move on to the next one, just solo this one and come here. So for this one, the ratio will be 1.1 .1 to 1. And then the attack 10% and the release 20 is okay. So let's just push the knee a little bit down here. Play around with the threshold here. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is burning. Pull up for my niggas. Pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching. I'm winning, the heading, the nagging. Add some makeup gain here. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is Let's unsolo this and solo the last one here. And click on the band and let's set the ratio to 1.1 to 1. Then push a little bit of the knee here to soften this part. And uh, a faster attack, which uh, let's just take it to 10% push the range down here let's just push it down here we can also push the range for this one down here
Let's now listen to what it sounds like all together. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is burning. Pull up for my niggas. Pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching. I'm winning, the heading, the nagging. Let me come. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Pull up the heat is cooling. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Pull up the fire is burning. Pull up for my niggas. Pull up, pull up, pull up the fire is burning. Come on, pull up the fire is burning. Yeah, I'm landing, I'm training, the watching. I'm winning. All right, I think this sounds great. If you look at uh, me pushing this, this is the overall gain knob of the entire multiband compressor. So basically, this is how you use a multiband compressor. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel grow. Also, feel free to comment in the comment section below. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at JTheMG. Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.